So in previous videos, we saw how we could get scores of how, how much we're looking at an object and if we've been looking at it for a while. In this one, we're going to look at the collectible script, which uses that vision tracker script um, in order to make decisions about the sparkles here and whether to increment a score or not, or you can, you know, make any kind of script you want that uses vision tracker as a tool. So for these collectible fish, I've actually got the two scripts, the vision tracker, which is your generic thing that just gets those numbers for how much you're looking at an object and for how long. But we've also got collectible, and this is going to make decisions based on the values that vision tracker makes. So here's collectible, which is in the uh, video description because it's just too long to, to type it out. And the code isn't really that complicated. It's just, you know, wordy. So how this is going to work first, you might not have seen this before. It requires vision tracker. So all you got to do is add collectible to an object and it'll automatically add vision tracker. These are some thresholds. I could make it so that that volatile score could just, the moment that it breaches 0.9, just bam, it would just immediately trigger. Or you could have a history trigger where you have to generally be looking at it for a while. So that's what these various thresholds mean. One of them has to be not zero, otherwise there's no way for it to trigger. So let's look at how this works. So first off, update every frame, so a lot, it's always checking, is this collectible, has it been collected, or is it not collected? Because if it is collected, we don't want to do anything really, we're done. And has it hit some threshold, then we want to make it collected. So let's look at has hit threshold. So has hit threshold, this is the part that actually decides have we hit that point where we want the golden fish uh, aura to kind of sparkle and then disappear? So this first one, get total look at score, this is the entire history of it. So you could look at the fish for a second and look away, and then another second and look away, and then an hour later, look at it one more second and look away, and if this threshold was three, then it would have it would have met that. History threshold, this one is uh, if over the past five seconds, or whatever you set that number to, you've looked at it enough. This one is that volatile one where just the second you look at it enough, it's boom, immediately going to happen. And if none of those happen, none of those return true, it'll just return false. Next is set collected, and this is what we what the function we run if we decided to, yes, we want to collect that thing and we're done. So all the stuff in here, so is collected, yes. We're going to add to our score, which I'll explain soon. If we have some aura particles, destroy them. Those are just the sort of sparkling. If we have the explosion, the POW particles, if we have something there, the prefab was set, then make it and then wait 10 seconds, I guess, and, and destroy it then. And this is just some code I wrote for the fishies specifically. Now there's one last thing here, verify and, uh, and the static array here. So when I start, I need to set up a little bit. This is kind of a helpful little thing, basically, for anyone using my script. If they didn't set any threshold, and it's impossible to collect, it'll give you a little warning. Or if you set any threshold less than zero, it probably means you don't know what you're doing, so it gives you a warning about that too. That's verify. Setup aura is just the thing that's going to create, if we have it, create that sort of sparkly aura. And this is the last thing that may be useful for other scripts in your project, is collection scores. This is a static dictionary. So that means, static means there's only one of them in the entire project. And what you can do is you can type collectible, the name of this script, collectible, 
collectible.getScore, and let's say 5, or 0, or 200. So if you have your fish collectibles of type 2, and you do getScore2 anywhere, it'll tell you how many of those you've collected, how many of the, the two fish you've collected, or how many of the five fish. So five is like a label. And so here, I only want to initialize this once, right? Because collectibles, there could be 20 of them, but I only want to make a new dictionary. I only want to start it up from nothing if we haven't done it yet. So that's the idea of Vision Tracker. It should be a general tool that you can use in a VR project to get those values. And you can really use this to make any other script that you might want. If you like these videos, uh, please let me know and give me feedback or if you have ideas for other VR videos I could work on. And uh, visit my website for more uh, more about this.